Okay, so now um, we have our text, we have our font design, it's in color. Let's start talking about changing things a little bit. Let's say we want the words into the future to be bigger than the rest of this. So, <clears throat> so let's click on this font tool and now we're going to click on this word again. So let's say I want, let's see, time keeps on slipping and I'm going to break this up. So I'm going to delete this part. I'm going to click OK. Now I'm going to create another text box and I'm going to click over here. So now I'm going to type in into the future. And let's say I want to make this bigger. So I'm going to, I don't know, I'll put it at 70. And I'll make it the same color. Okay. Maybe I want to change the font altogether. <coughs> Maybe I want this to be like really bold and stand out. Let's just say we want this one. Okay, so I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to go to my Move tool. Maybe I want to reposition this as well. Maybe I want this to be kind of like that. Okay, so you can play around with this. You don't necessarily have to put all of your text into the same text box, especially if you have a longer phrase or sentence from your song you might want to break it up into more than one text box. So if I'm looking over here at my layers menu so that we don't get confused, what I might do is double click on this and type in font one and maybe I'll call this one font two. <clears throat> this way I know which one is which. Okay. So now I'm going to say to myself, all right, what else can I do? Okay, I have a background layer here, which is locked, which means I can't do anything on it. So if I want, I can actually create a background color though. So I'm going to click and hold this down and drag it over this white piece of paper with a little uh, corner folded where it says new layer, and then I'm gonna let go. So I just duplicated the layer. Um, you can do this with any of your layers. Like, for example, if I wanted to make a duplicate layer of my font one, which is time keeps on slipping, I could click and hold this down, drag it over this where it says new layer, and then let go. And now I'll have two of these. So I really don't want two of these. There's no reason for it. So I'm going to click, hold this down, and put it in this trash can, and it's going to delete that layer. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to click on my background copy and I'm going to call this one color background. <clears throat> so if I want to change the color of my background, I'm going to go over to my tools menu and click on this black box here. This says set main color. And I don't really know what color I want. I'm just going to pick a color. How about this green color, for example? So it didn't change the background yet, but this is the color that's selected. So I need to click on the paint bucket. This color is now selected, and now I can click in this white box, and it's going to change the color. So this might be way too vibrant. Like maybe this just looks crazy. Maybe it's a little too much. Um, I can also play around with the gradient tool, which is over here. If I click on the gradient tool, up here, it's kind of like a value scale from dark to medium to light and black and white. If I click and hold this down, it's going to create a line going across my image. And then when I let it go, depending on where I am, it'll create a gradient of color going across my image, like a value scale. So that actually looks kind of cool. Like I kind of like that actually. Um, I might leave it, but I do want to show you 
um, <clears throat> if you want to change the color. <clears throat> so let's say you want this to be a color instead of white. I can click on this where it's white, or actually right here, I'm sorry, and I could pick a color in here. So maybe I do really like that green. Maybe I just love green. I don't know, and it goes with the song. I'm going to click OK, and I'm going to create a new gradient. So I still think I like the other one better, but you could play around with this if you want and choose whatever colors you want. Um, because I like the black and white, I want to go back. Like, I don't like this. So I'm going to click Edit, Undo, and I'm going to do it one more time. Edit, Undo. And now it brings me back to this step here. So maybe I'm going to leave this. This actually looks kind of cool. <clears throat> Now I'm thinking I need some kind of a visual. So when I'm thinking time slipping into the future, I'm actually thinking of like a clock or some kind of like, I don't know, spiraling time or numbers kind of swirling and moving around. I'm thinking about that. Now I could actually add some numbers in using the text box, but you could also add pictures in. So you have a couple of choices right now. Because you're in class, you can't really take pictures in class. But if you have, let's say, an Android or an iPhone and you have a camera on your phone, you can actually take some pictures outside of class, like at home for homework. Let's say I wanted a picture of a clock. You could take a picture of a clock and then you could add it to your Google Drive and you could upload it into this image and use it. And I could show you how to digitally basically alter the image, change it, and make it look really unique and interesting using some of the tools in Pixlr. But for right now, because I don't have a picture, I'm just going to go to Google and I'm going to find a clock picture that we can just use for right now.